Welcome to the training. Because you're here, I'm assuming you are a spiritual seeker, spiritual entrepreneur, or someone who really cares about living a life that's in alignment with who you are at a soul level. And I want to let you know that if you are, you're in the right place. I'm going to be sharing how you can discover how to activate your clairvoyant vision to see your fastest path to more peace of mind, love, career success, and prosperity. Clairvoyance enables us to effortlessly make personal relationship, business, even financial decisions with clarity and a peaceful sense of inner knowing. It also helps us to connect deeply with our truth and everything that is right for us in our lives and careers, as we are all very unique individuals. Tapping into it is very transformational, alchemical, and healing. Many people think that clairvoyance is a supernatural skill or gift reserved for only a chosen few. But I believe that rather than being supernatural, it's very natural, and it's something that everyone can learn, given the right environment. And that's key. The environment is key. I first want to ask you something. Have you ever noticed others who are leading very successful lives of abundance? It could be abundance of clients, purpose, love, friends, or money. And did you notice that they had something that you wanted for yourself? These people always seem to know what to do, when and how to do it, and always seem to have the answers they wanted to whatever questions they had. I sure wanted the same for myself, as I'm sure you do. I was very passionate and felt strongly about achieving the same for myself. And I discovered that by deeply developing my psychic intuitive skills and learning to apply them in a practical, useful, and actionable way in my life, I could create the same scenario for myself. Wouldn't it be great to have that without the struggles, trials, and tribulations that many of us go through? That's what I'm wanting to discuss with you today. When we're struggling, we're not tuned in to our higher guidance. We're in a state of misalignment, but when we are in alignment, we can see and know what to do, where to go, when to go there, and who to go with. And this is very, very powerful. Looking back, I now realize that once I opened my clairvoyant gifts and truly followed them and took action on what came forth, my life took on a new level of fulfillment and struggle really became a thing of the past. I can share with you today that I use my clairvoyance for everything in my life, absolutely everything, and I want you to be able to do it too. In the past, I've used clairvoyance to look beyond media reports of tough economic times. Actually, this is very interesting, my psychic animal communication and healing business experienced one of its most significant breakthroughs during the most recent recession that we went through which I know is, is a, way back, a ways back now. When I want or require new information that's going to lift me up to the next level of my purpose and path, I simply look to my own personal reading screen, not the one attached to the cable box in my living room, as that one will surely lead me down the rabbit hole, as I'm sure many of you would agree with. So clairvoyance bestows us with infinite wisdom, Deeper awareness, keen insight, knowledge, perception, and true inner knowing. Opening to clairvoyance is a transformational healing process, as I mentioned earlier. It allows you to not only be aware of energy on a much deeper level, but it also allows you to have a better handle on your own energy. What you do with your energy, how you run it, the other energies you connect with, and the energies you disconnect from, both of those last two pieces are very important, is what clairvoyance is all about. With clairvoyance, you can access your own higher self, the higher selves of others with their physical, verbal, or written permission, of course, your spirit guides, your animal guides, the devas and nature spirits, the archangels, ascended masters, and star beings. Really, the sky is the limit. You name it, you can access it with your clairvoyance. 
The reason that I get so jazzed up about this is that all of these beings are there just waiting to help you in your life. But you have to make the connection and ask for their help. It's kind of like, I don't know if you all remember that old cell phone commercial, Can You Hear Me Now? Can You Hear Me Now? It was ancient, years ago. Um, your guides and these other beings, they really want to help you with this work. And they're up there saying that. Can you hear me now? Um, I want you to be able to hear them. And they do too. And what better way for them to come to you clearly than on your own private personal clairvoyance reading screen. Clairvoyance is the number one skill, I think, for spiritual entrepreneurs or really anybody who wants to advance spiritually. In today's job market, whether it's in in the job market, whether it's in personal or online business, in a healing practice, or just in your general lives, having an edge, a surefire way to know what to do and when and how to do it is an amazing help. It's like an inside advantage. You are competing for the attention of potential clients, if you're in business, who are currently really distracted. You may have noticed that. You know, we're all very distracted these days because things are coming at us in in snippets and sound bites um, from all angles. Clairvoyance is one of the most important skills you can have because it helps you to accelerate your purpose here on earth, whatever it is, in any and every area of your life. It's a way to help you accelerate the attraction of friends, clients, kindred spirits for projects, opportunity, love, prosperity, abundance, business, anything else. You can use it to choose your next puppy or to buy a house. Clairvoyance allows you to access whatever it is that you need information on. There are a number of different clairs. The basic four are clairaudience, clairsentience, claircognizance, and clairvoyance. Clairvoyance is clear seeing, claircognizance is clear knowing, clairsentience is clear feeling, and clairaudience is clear hearing. So we've got the four clairs, and there are more, but we'll stick with these ones right now. And you're like a radar tower, receiving packets of information through each of your clairs. And through clairvoyance, generally speaking, you receive images and energy through images, and information through images, and whatever it is that you need to know through images, not always pictures. Sometimes they can be symbols. Sometimes they can be colors. And what I've noticed after teaching this for years and years is that what happens is those pieces of information you receive, they all kind of come together and gel like the recipe for making a cake. They come together and create an amazing end result that's much greater than the sum of the parts. Baking soda or baking powder, I guess it is. I'm not much of a baker. But baking powder in its own is not very exciting. But if you put it in a cake, it sure makes the cake change a lot. (laughs) Try baking one without it and you'll see. So activating your clairvoyance is a key part of the recipe. And there are four main steps to activate your clairvoyance. The first one is to actively claim your clairvoyant gifts. That involves releasing any mindsets and belief systems that the um, that you don't have them or that they're reserved for a privileged few, etc. So you really want to claim your clairvoyant gifts. The second step is to activate and step into your divine power with the help of your guides and healing team. We all have a choice whether we live an empowered life or not. And this is a key piece to moving into um, your clairvoyance. The third step is to become very conscious of energy. The energy all around you, the energy that's coming to you, the information that's coming with it, and how energy flows to and from you. The final step for opening your clairvoyance is being grateful for every single piece of info that you receive, no matter how large or how insignificant it may seem to you at the moment. 
Sometimes the pieces that seem insignificant are some of the most significant ones. And being very grateful for every form of psychic information, piece of information you receive. If you don't currently feel as tapped into your psychic gifts as you'd like to be, just be grateful for every single item of information you receive, no matter how you receive it. I've had students over the years go, well, this is how it came to me, but I really wanted it to come this way. And I'm like, the way you get it to come that way is by being grateful for when it comes the way you didn't want it to come. <laughs> you know, it really is um, important. Gratitude unlocks the magic of clairvoyance. Okay, that's a really key piece to, to write that down. Gratitude unlocks the magic of clairvoyance. The other key piece of the clairvoyance recipe is to clear the three biggest blocks holding you back. And they are your current beliefs about being clairvoyant, especially your current beliefs about you being clairvoyant, not knowing how to be clairvoyant, and learning to adopt a clairvoyant mindset. So once there's there's a saying in business and that is once you know what you want the how will present itself and this work this is very true for manifesting so once you know what you want which is in this case to be more clairvoyant the how will present itself and it is presenting itself through this mini training and i'm going to share um about another uh video free video series i have uh coming up so each human being has so many different ideas beliefs and mindsets so you can actually reframe any of the ones you have that may not be serving you currently by simply choosing a new one. So if you have the belief system that clairvoyance is reserved for a privileged few and you don't have to have you don't happen to be one of them, how can you reframe that right now in a way that will serve you? Take a moment now to think about it, even stop the video. Think about how you can reframe that into an idea, belief, or mindset that would allow your clairvoyance to come through. Maybe it's like, I've been waiting for this opportunity and it has just presented itself and now I know that I can activate my clairvoyance. You know, could be something much simpler than that. A belief that, a belief that has flow and flexibility attached to it is always best, as I truly believe that flow and flexibility beat out rigidity and concrete in the box thinking any day when it comes to helping us open up our psychic skills. You know, I believe that some of the psychics out there who, who would lead you to believe that they're gifted and you're not, it, I, I believe that's a very self-serving belief system and I want you to think about who that benefits you know and be very very uh, clear with that so that now that you've been made conscious of that my coach's request for you is going to be to reap that new belief system you have you know so you sow the seeds and then you reap the 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 produce so I know with every ounce of my being that you can be clairvoyant if you choose to and you allow it to happen for yourself. You possibly haven't been in an environment, perhaps, that encourages and nurtures clairvoyance within you. You most probably haven't been shown how to be clairvoyant in this life. It's not, you know, something they teach us at school. I wish they did. And it's not that there's anything missing from you in any way, shape, or form or anything that needs to be added to you to be able to do so. Up until now, you just haven't been shown how to the extent that it has come forth for you. Those who haven't adopted the mindset required to be clairvoyant haven't, as of yet, put themselves in a position where they can find out how to do it. The key is, whenever you find a mindset that does not support your bigger vision of being clairvoyant, you need to release it. My journey into clairvoyance in the invisible realms has been a really rewarding one. And I'm sharing this with you because I want you to know the very same is true for you. By using my clairvoyance, I've created a number of highly successful businesses. I've been able to live the life of my dreams in beautiful power spots in the world. 
Currently, I'm in Sedona, Arizona. I have a couple of points about an upcoming free video series that I'm going to share in a moment. But first, I wanted to share that uh, with you that my current business is focused mainly on training others. I'm known internationally as a leader in my field, and one of my clients, Gretchen, recently said to me, there is no one else to go to for this. Basically, she was saying, you're the only one. This all came to pass um, for me through using my clairvoyance, this, this business uh, that I'm in. I love helping you activate and utilize your psychic and healing gifts. There is nothing I like more. Developing your clairvoyant skills will expand the path before you, allow you to step into your purpose in a much bigger way, and create the juicy life you desire, whatever that might look like. I know that if I can do it, you can too. For the sake of this free mini training, I've simplified a lot for you into bite-sized nuggets of information to help you on your path to becoming more clairvoyant. I have another free clairvoyant video training series coming up in the next couple of days. So if you aren't currently following me on Facebook, please go to my Animal Alchemy Facebook page. I believe there will be a link in your handout. And like or follow me to be notified on how to access this free training. Also, be sure to complete the clairvoyant assessment you received with this training program before the upcoming video series starts. So abundant blessings and a pleasure sharing space with you, and I look forward to seeing you on my next training series.